Okay guys, this is going to be a very quick unboxing of Panasonic Lumix GH5 camera with 1260 Leica lens. So let's get straight into it. Just getting rid of the outer box. This is the invoice. This is the main box. Let's get rid of this one. So this is the camera with the kit, kit lens, the box looks nice. So on the box itself the lens is mentioned. So I'm guessing there will be different packaging for different kit lenses. So let's see what you've got in this one okay. this is just a uh, Packaging. Okay, we have a quick guide in here. The usual stuff, Linux G experience, the product registration form, which would be important. So let's just have this only has the website address where I need to go and register the camera. This uh, limited worldwide warranty card. There is a quick guide. And then we have the basic operating instruction manual, which we will take a look at later. So in the box there is other uh, separation finally we have on uh, one side we have the kit lens on the other side we have the camera, the belt of the camera, in the final compartment we have the cables and other sort of stuff. So that's it. The box is empty. Put that aside. So let's see what we have. This is nothing but the belt that we put on the camera. Nice. This is the battery. sure what this is but I'm sure I'll find out later this is the charger seems like 
the cable for charger. to be the HDMI or something of the sort cable the charge cable for charging at this one so this would go in here and this should go in here I'll put this in charging and that brings us to the main components. This is the lens cap. focus button and then we have image stabilization on or off button as well a nice little lens cap and that's it and solid so that's about it I'll put the batteries for charging put the lens actually I should put the lens straight away Let me do that into charging put the belt on and then ready to go so while the batteries are still charging what I've done is I put on the belt which feels very good the lens I've put uh, taken on the lens cap and put it as well and that feels surprisingly good and well built as well I basically come from a Nikon and this is this is all completely new to me the quality of the lens build even the gap simple things like that it's it's feels really really well built and really solid the camera itself there are a couple of dials on off switch over here the white balance ISO buttons there's one function key on the top the video recording button the second dial for the photo modes and various other things on the lens autofocus manual focus and the stabilization the button to get the lens out the flash the main shutter release button this is where my SD cards would go unfortunately um, the SD cards that I've ordered haven't yet arrived so 
I'll need to wait for that for a day. On this side, we have the top, we have the port for microphone. Then we have the one for headphone. And finally, the HDMI and USB connections. Uh, this side we also have a thingy for remote connections. On the back, the main screen, which is obviously off right now because there is no battery in it. And various other buttons, the main joystick, the focus lock, manual focus and autofocus option, selection button, the display, the main menu button and the chalk dial and three function keys. On this side we have the play button, not sure what, what exactly is this one. And on the bottom this is where the battery would go once I have it charged and that's about it really I'm just waiting for the batteries to charge and my card to arrive and then I'll start taking some sample shots as well as some sample videos in the meantime i'll try to go through the manual manual as much as possible that's it that's it for this video thanks a lot for watching cheers